Every year, Brickset hosts the Brickset Awards, which is the Brickset community's best way of figuring out their favorite set. You can actually go and nominate your favorite builds at Brickset right now, and a community vote will show up hopefully within a few days. However, the problem with an awards thing like this is that my favorites are not going to win, so we're gonna do my own video instead, and it's gonna be awesome, and I get to pick 10. So without further ado, let's begin. Coming in at number 10 is set number 76940, T-Rex Dinosaur Fossil Exhibition. This was the first of many sets that surprised me on this list. I remember when this was revealed this summer, I was quite surprised by the quality of this dinosaur. And having that pre-made dinosaur head actually worked. It's fantastic that a junior eyes set like this one within that Jurassic World line looks as good as it does. Number nine is 60304 LEGO City Road Blades. They finally created system-based road design for LEGO City. This is something I would have absolutely loved as a kid. Uh, I had the chance at some of the conventions I went to this year to see those road plates in action and it really makes a huge difference and there's so much more flexibility with them than the 32 by 32 base plates ever would have provided. The eighth place on this list is gonna go to 21165, the B Farm. This set is, in my opinion, the perfect Lego Minecraft set. It's everything you could ask for. It's got the really low price point at $20 but it comes with everything you'd expect from a much larger set. We've got the villager, we've got the unique minifigure to the set, the beekeeper, and then more bees than you could ever reasonably expect in a set that retails for $19.99. This set also was designed by Isaac Snyder. This was his first set, I believe. Um, he just joined the Lego group very recently, and it's really cool to see him working on one of my favorite themes, and he obviously knocked it out of the park with this set. Coming in at number seven is 10278 Police Station, the modular building released for this year. I'm a sucker for modular buildings, and I believe this one was designed by Chris McVeigh. It's awesome, obviously you can't fault the price on any of the modulars, you're getting so much bang for your buck. I'm always waiting for the modular building line to drop the ball, but it never does. They keep getting better and better. And of course, Medieval Blacksmith, while not at that number one spot that Brick Set is probably going to give it, has to make this list. There's really not much to say about this set. It's everything a LEGO Castle fan could ask for, and I really need to get my hands on it at some point. Oh my gosh, a set I have. Um, coming in at number five is set number 40487, nailed it. Sailboat Adventure, which in my opinion is probably the best gift with purchase the LEGO Group has ever produced. Just in terms of sheer scale alone, we're looking at 330 free pieces that you got for meeting from what I believe was a pretty ridiculous uh, th price threshold. It's probably $200. But this is a $30 kit right here that they handed out for free. Um, and it's beautiful. They didn't need to include any dolphins and they put in two. That's awesome. I can't bring myself to open it. It's so beautiful in its box. I don't know what I'd do with it anyway. Number four is another surprise. A set that I really am not all that familiar with, but absolutely fell in love with at first sight. And that is 43202, The Magical House from the new Disney movie, Encanto. The colors, the design, I, I was shocked that they didn't compromise on any of the colors. It's just as colorful as and vibrant as you would want this set to be. And they scaled it down to be a reasonably sized set. I've never even seen the interior on this thing. I don't know if there is, I assume there's interior on this thing. This set has no right to be as good as it is. Usually the Disney princess sets suck. <laughs> this one made number four on my list, and I don't even have this set. I don't even know what the back looks like. It's just so good. The top three are, of course, sets that I have. I feel that's only fair. Number three, of course, is a Harry Potter set. We had to get a Harry Potter set, and that is 76388 Hogsmeade Village. It's an, a rather obscure location, even within the Harry Potter universe. They decided to do a really big setup. As a Harry Potter fan, that totally works for me. An awesome collection of minifigures is not all this set is going for it. It's got two very well designed buildings. The steep roofs on these look great. We got snow dripping down. 
While these are decorated primarily with stickers, which was a pain, they actually look really, really good. Both buildings feature quite lavish interiors uh, for their size. And while $80 is a bit steep, I don't think it's unwarranted given the quality of a set like this. Set number two is a set that I own, but unfortunately I just don't have it with me, but I'm sure you've seen it in the background of at least one video in the past. And that set is 21326 Winnie the Pooh, another Lego Ideas set. I grew up on Winnie the Pooh. The design of the set is great. Using the coral for the leaves and the tree is fantastic. All the prints included in the set, all in all, great set. It's one that I don't think I can bring myself to part out. At the very least, I'll be keeping those beautiful figures on display for a very, very long time. Before we go on to the number one spot, it's just a few honorable mentions I wanna give. There's so many great sets released this year, it was hard narrowing it down to just 10. It would be ridiculous not to mention the Titanic. And the Titanic is not a set made for me. I do not have enough money lying around to go spend on what is essentially is a display piece, but you've gotta admire the craftsmanship that went into designing a model like this. Perhaps the second best chess set after the $200 castle chess set way back in 2008 is the Hogwarts wizard chess set, complete with four exclusive figures, but the chess set itself too, all brick built figures uh, that are really unique, but still super authentic to wizard's chess. This is a chess set worthy of display and actual chess play. Having the minifigures is just the icing on the cake. And then I've got to mention the bonsai tree as well. All the botanical line has been really, really excellent, but I think the bonsai tree really lends itself to Lego um, in the current parts available, uh, more so than the others. And that's what makes it really stand out. If there was one non Harry Potter Lego set that never ceased to get me excited this year, it had to be Ninjago City Gardens. I've always been a fan of these sets. Um, never picked one up, but I could not resist when I saw this thing. First of all, it's probably the best parts pack LEGO has ever produced, with almost 6,000 pieces for $300. This is probably the most fun you'll have building any LEGO set ever. It doesn't matter if you like Ninjago or not, you can be like me and know nothing. Um, and the build experience here is absolutely incredible as you build these tiny little shops uh, and smash them together to create something truly spectacular. That's it. I am actually very curious to hear what you think was your favorite set, so please let me know down below. If you haven't already seen it, I've got a top 10 minifigures of 2021 video as well. Be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great 2022. I cannot wait to see what Lego sets are in store for us. <laughs> Ninjago isn't looking so hot this next year, um, but I'm glad we had this year. Um, <laughs> all right, that's my outro. See you later.